Hi boys and girls, my name's Mrs Ritchie and I'm one of the people that's going to be helping you when you start school in August. You might recognise me because sometimes I like to nip across to the nursery and you might also recognise me if you've been in the gym hall or if you've been across for assembly um, and I know that I'll know some of you because I know that some of you have got brothers and sisters who are already at Brunston Primary and I've been at Brunston Primary for a, quite a while now so I, I know the school quite well so I'm a really good person to ask if you're needing help. Now I've got a book here that I thought you would enjoy. It's called Starting School and it's a book that I enjoyed reading with my girls before they started school. I hope you enjoy it too. Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Sushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison are starting school. The first day. The children wait in the playground with their mums and dads and brothers and sisters and a puppy. The bell rings. Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Sushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison go into school and meet their teacher. They hang their hats and coats in the cloakroom, have a look at the toilets and go into the classroom. They sit on the mat with the rest of the class. The teacher calls the register and collects the dinner money. She shows the children around the classroom and the parents too. In the classroom there are tables, chairs and drawers for the children to keep their things in. There is a book corner, a home corner, an interest table, a box of dressing up clothes and a baby rabbit in a rabbit hutch. During the morning Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Sushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison get used to the classroom and the rabbit gets used to them. At playtime they go out to play. At dinner time they eat their dinners. In the afternoon they draw pictures, go out to play again and have singing in the hall. At the end of the day they tidy up, have a story on the mat put their hats and coats on and go home. The second day. The next day Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Sushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison go to school again. In the morning they do a picture and some writing in their new books. After that they have music and movement in the hall. Errol's mum plays the piano. At playtime Robert loses his hat and Alison finds it. Errol bangs his knee and the teacher rubs it better. Gavin and Sushma and David climb in the climbing frame. Kate thinks about climbing. In the afternoon, the children make some models. They show them to the head teacher, have a story on the mat and go home. The first week. As the days go by, the children get more used to the school. On Wednesday, they go into the hall for assembly. They listen to the singing and say a prayer. They watch some older children do a play. On Thursday, they start learning to read. Gavin can read already. He brings his book from home to show the teacher. Errol brings his tooth to show the teacher. It came out in the night. On Friday, they go swimming in the swimming pool. The water is warm and not deep. Robert and Sushma and Kate jump up and down. David and Sophie walk in down the steps. Errol thinks about walking in. In the afternoon, Kate and Sushma and David do cooking with David's mum. They make 12 little cakes, three big cakes and a mess. Time goes by. The next week, Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Sushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison choose a name for the rabbit. They draw, they draw rabbit pictures, make rabbit models, bake rabbit biscuits, have rabbit stories on the mat and do lots more rabbit things to, besides. My name is Ronald. The week after that, the children have their photographs taken. And the week after that, 
Gavin loses a glove. Alison learns to swim. Sophie reads a book. And Sushma shows her sari and her diva lamp. Robert thinks about being in a Halloween play. And sometimes the children are happy and sometimes they're sad. Sometimes they're puzzled or sleepy or grumpy or lumpy or spotty. Sometimes the teacher is not cheerful either. End of term. Christmas comes. In the last week of term, the infants do a play about baby Jesus. Everybody has a part and all the mums and dads come to watch. On the last day of term, the children bring cakes and crisps, sausages, sandwiches and jellies and have a party in the classroom. Then Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Sushma and Kate and David and Robert and Alison go home. And the holiday begins. So I hope you enjoyed that book, boys and girls. Um, looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.